I've known my next guest since I was 25 years old, and the first time he ever talked to me, he was angry and yelling, and I deserved it. Please welcome Tim Meadows. <laughs> Are you going to do a magic trick? Oh, no, no, no. This is a, something that I don't want to forget. I'll do, save it for later. But okay, okay, I don't want good. to forget it. All right, good. I'll, I'll try to remember that. Thanks. All right, I won't even look at it. Um, Hi, everybody. Tim Meadows. <laughs> nice to see you. Good now, to see we you. Know each other. We've known each other since 19, I think the first time I met. I think that story, I was uh, your girlfriend at the time in Chicago. There was a party, like a 4th of July barbecue or something like that at her mother's house. Yeah. And I guess I'd had something to drink. Really? Or something. <laughs> and I crawled on the roof of uh, her mother's garage and was throwing hot dogs at people in the party. Yeah. Do you remember what you yelled at me? I don't. I'm sure it had MF in there somewhere, <laughs> probably. It did. And it ended with, grow the f up. <laughs> And you were yeah. a member of the Second City, and I had just been hired in the National Touring Company. I was like, I've blown it. I'll, yeah. I'll never be a member of the company now because of the member of the company. Because I know. was so cool. You were so cool. Yeah. You were so cool. Matter of fact, this was what you looked back like back then. Because oh, this no is your, way. This is your SNL photo, your first season. <laughs> but this is the guy. This is the guy. Can we see that shot uh, again? It's a little. See the shot of that. It's a little Bart Simpson-y. Yeah. It's a little. <laughs> But that's the guy. That's the guy who yelled at me. That's so yeah. Fun. You know, anyway, I apologize. But that's all right. I apologize. We used to joke about that. Um, I used to say that uh, when I wasn't on the show, that was a live shot of me getting the train going home. Because <laughs> it was me looking at the train and just turning around going, hey, I'm taking off now. So you've got kids now, right? I do, yeah. How old are your kids now? My kids, I have two boys. They are uh, 14 and soon to be 16. Mm -hmm. Do they care that their dad is famous? Like... I, I remind them of that a lot. I do. Hey, hey. Hey, God. No, I'll tell them every once in a while, I'll go, do you guys realize that Tim Meadows, the television star, is cooking your breakfast? <laughs> this is so cool for you. You can tell your grandchildren yeah. you were there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tim Meadows is actually dropping you off at school, man. But okay, wait, wait, what do you say? So 14 and 16? Yes. Do they even want to be with you? You guys still do things together? Because teenagers, even if they love you, they're like, that's yeah, dead. that's what I think. Like, you know, they don't think I'm as cool anymore. Like, you know, you kind of think you're always going to be cool. But I kind of thought, like, even like the coolest person in the world, their kids probably thought they were like nerds or just the worst. Like, even Miles Davis probably had that problem with his kids at a certain yeah. point. His kids were probably like, oh, dad, shut up with that trumpet, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm Miles Davis, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> but no, they do. They, they, uh, but. Like, now I try to spend as much time with them as I can, because they are changing, you yeah. know? Um, like, we went to Detroit this summer. Uh, well, your we, hometown. My hometown, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Detroit. Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, we usually have somebody from Detroit here. I apologize. Not this yeah. time. They're yeah. in prison somewhere, probably. <laughs> no, I grew up in a rough part of Detroit. You may have heard of it. It's called Detroit. <laughs> yeah, OK. No, no rim shot on that. OK, all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't go far. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Um, but no, we went to uh, Detroit this summer. We saw a bunch of baseball games, you know, okay. watched the Tigers play. Yeah. And uh, we were driving from Chicago to Detroit, mm -hmm. and we were playing a, a car game, you know, trying to kill time. And the game was like you had to we picked a subject, and then you had three seconds or five seconds to name something, you know. So if it was like directors, then you'd be Scorsese, and it'd be your turn. And if you can't think of something, we used to go four. Three, two. And so it was me and my son. We were driving, and they were playing musical um, this is the groups. The 14 year old or the 16 year old? This is the 14 year old. Okay. And so we were playing musical groups. That was the, and so I go, Led Zeppelin. And I'm driving, and he goes, mm, mm. I go, three, two, one. He goes, Pussy Riot. <laughs> it counts. It counts. It counts. And I was like, wow, this is, I never heard him say before, first of all. Not even in any term, in, in, in no. any, you know, of its uh, variations that you could use that word. I don't think the CBS censors have ever heard it either. Really? No. <laughs> Not aware of that word. Pussy Riot? Not aware of it. Nope. What never about heard the band? That word. Nope. Can't find it in any of the dictionaries oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I don't care. Yeah, well, good. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not my <laughs> beep button. It's theirs. 
But yeah, so I mean, that's uh, that was one of the things that happened this summer. But yeah, they are they're getting too cool now. They don't want to hang out with me as much. Uh, now, uh, Son of Zorn, which is the project that you're doing yes. uh, with the great Jason Sudeikis. Love it's it's he's an he's he's like uh, He Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon character who comes back to be with his non animated child. Yes. And you play the boyfriend of the mother. Yes. It's an it's an eternal story. <laughs> I think, it is. I think we have a clip right okay. here. Jim? Craig needs some space to wall mount his bicycles. Bicycles? Who the hell rides bicycles? Uh, we do. Craig and I enjoy riding bicycles together as a couple. Oh, hey, Craig, you know what Edie and I used to enjoy doing as a couple? Having tantric sex on top of a mountain for months at a time. Yeah. You should try cycling, Zorn. It's really good for your heart. Oh, you know what else is good for your heart? Having tantric sex with Edie on top of a mountain for months at a time. Nice shirt, by the way. It's a nautica, Zorn. Well, your mom's a nautica. Okay, this is escalating. My ears are getting hot. I'm gonna go for an anger ride. Oh, let me guess, on your bicycle? <laughs> I haven't seen that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Thanks. Well, good to see you, man. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me, man. Always love to see you. Oh, can you. I say one really quick thing? One oh, thing. the thing that was written on the paper? Yes, I wanted to say uh, get well to my friend Dave Floyd. He's a friend of ours from Detroit. He was in a car accident just recently. He's doing great. Um, but just wanted to say love you, Dave, and get well. Stay strong, Dave. Yeah. Son of Zorn premieres Sunday on Fox. Tim Meadows, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Wilco.